Hello, and welcome to an InView training video. Today I'm going to go over the InView plugin that goes inside of Adobe Illustrator. I'm actually in it right now. And I want to show taking a Adobe drawing or some other uh, vector drawing with graphics and creating a foldable design out of that drawing. Um, this might be, this is a very common question we get is, hey, I've already designed something and I really want to be able to show the 3D model to my customer. I also want to be able to cut and crease and do all the stuff to it. Um, and I, I need a clean drawing to do it with. So we're in Adobe now and we're going to go through that process. But before we start, just real quick, if you're not already a customer, you can go to our website, inview.com, click on this 10 day trial, fill out this form. It'll come to somebody like myself. We'll get a hold of you. Uh, learn a little bit more about your business and then get you a test drive of the software. All right, so what I've done to make this easy is I've thrown our graphics on a layer and our creasing and our cutting on different layers. So let's go ahead and let's just isolate the crease. But even before we do that, I want to show you if I click here, I, I can't go edit and package designer. I, I don't really see anything going on here at the moment because I don't have anything to cut or crease or, or do that with. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this set of graphics here and we are going to choose to crease those graphics. Then let's go grab the cut graphics. We'll select all of them and let's cut those graphics. All right. So we have, let's turn off the graphical layers and just turn on the envy layer. And you'll see that we've now got um, everything that's green is creased, everything that's red is cut, and we'll turn our graphics back on. And now let's see if we can edit in Package Designer. All right, good news, we can edit. So let's go into Package Designer. We see our design here, and um, what we'd like to do is go ahead and fold this up. So let's just first try to see if we can create a 3D out of it. Nope. There's something wrong in the drawing, and so we need to fix that. Well, the good news is, is if you have our InView standard, you've got a full set of uh, CAD tools, um, you know, with all kinds of trim extend. But we've also got this super cool fix it tool, and this tool here right now, you can kind of see it's showing us all the contours that are closed by filling them in and hatching them. But it's giving us some other errors and stuff that we can work with. So what we really want to focus on is unconnected ends because that's really what's keeping us from closing this up here and let's go take a look at them so this one right here i'm going to zoom out to kind of show you where we landed but that was on this first piece that wasn't done here and what we're going to do is we're going to zoom way in on this we're going to grab that point and we're going to snap it to that line and then it takes us to the next one so now we have two more here. We've got one that's almost not at that end in there. And let's just zoom out real quick and I'll show you where those are also in our drawing. So this is that handle. And you'll see those are the two ends. And so let's go work on those for a minute. Um, let's grab this one here. Let's go use our extend tool and we'll extend it to the line. Go to the other one and let's trim off the end of there. We'll zoom in a little bit. Use our trim tool and we'll cut it off. All right, so all those errors went away. We've got a few errors left. Let's zoom out a little bit and see, are they something that we want to do, do something with? And, you know, we could really go in and start cleaning, but I don't think it's really going to affect our drawing. We turn on our hatch space here and you can see everything is filled back in for us. So let's get out of this fix tool. Let's go try to create a 3D again. So when we go to create our 3D, let's fold it up and we fold it up. We don't get exactly what we want because uh, the 3D tried and it tried to create um, the layout, but everything doesn't fold exactly as a 90. And um, so it's not going to not going to work that way. So let's um, flip it around and let's get rid of these steps and we'll start putting in our own steps. So let's delete the step. Oops, let me see here. Delete step. There we go. All right. And then one of the things before we start doing all a couple things is one, let's let's select the base. So right now, if we see this is our current base and what we'd really like to have everything is fold around this base here. And so I'm going to select base and select that panel. And so now that's our base. Now we'll center it up and we're ready to start folding. So let's insert some steps. I'm just going to put a few steps in here and Insert step below. So I don't know. We'll let's try five steps. That might get us to where we want. 
the first step, I kind of want to start my visualization here. So I'm going to insert a camera or viewpoint right here, and that's going to start my process. The next thing I want to do is start folding up the different panels. So let's go to this step here, and I'm going to fold this 90. Okay, so that'll come in. We can kind of get a view this way. I want to fold this out. So I'm going to go negative 90. And if I went the wrong way, I could always just change it. I'm going to grab that piece here. I'm going to fold it in 90. And then we're going to pull this one back off and fold it negative 90. All right. So that's got one half of our holder going here. And so then let's go to the next step. Let's do the other side. So let's grab this and fold it. We'll go up 90. Grab this piece out here. We're going to fold it. Negative 90. That piece here, we're going to fold it in. 90. And then this last piece here will fold out. Negative 90. All right. So we're getting closer on our piece here. Um, but you know what we want to do too is right now we're in a real thin folding cart. And the reason we had changed this design is we were in a thicker piece of material. And uh, so let's go change our material properties to match right here. So under our uh, corrugated cardboard, we have uh, this DISPA material. This It's 3.3 millimeter. And you'll now see that this represents what we're trying to fold up. So let's get in and do a new step and let's put the ends up. I'm going to grab both at the same time and do them at a 90 degrees. And then the last thing is I want to take care of this handle. So let's zoom in on the handle. We'll grab this piece, this piece, and let's put them on a new step and fold them 90. All right. So they're folded up. So you can see where they're folded up now. And then Last thing is, let's get kind of the view that we want to show our customer or ourselves. And so let's just say we want it to be like that. Let's insert a step below and we're going to insert a viewpoint. Let's go back to the start. Let's play through our process so you can kind of see our folding container come together, rotate around and voila, we're ready to now display this. So let's go and upload it in the cloud because we'd like to show this to our team or other people that don't have InView, and we'll call this beer holder. Uh, I'm going to hit upload. And once it's up there, we're communicating with the server. It's dropped it up so I can go grab this link right here so I can copy uh, the link and then so I can take that I can put it in an email I can message it to somebody and then if I click on here this will go to my cloud space and it will open up my model let's just play through it real quick and we should be able to see kind of the same animation that we just set together so these items come up rotate around and there we go so thank you for taking time to watch this training session. What I can do in the next one is I'll go ahead and show how to add the bottles um, and we can go through that process. But uh, anyway, we'd love to uh, get any questions you have. And like I said, if you're already a user, thank you. And if not, if you want to test drive, please get a hold of us. Thanks.